Hello, it's Markham with Torch Chip, Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating grass with the scatter add-on. Oh my goodness, it is so simple. So at the moment, I've deleted all the lighting. I'm just going to enable the physical atmosphere lighting add-on, and let's just rotate the sunlight. There we go. This is what we got. Let's press numpad zero to come to camera view. Currently in the rendered view with Eevee. And now let's see how simple it is to create grass using this add-on. So up here, I'm going to select the eyedropper tool and select my mesh. Bam. Let's go into biomes. Now, first thing we got to do is give the mesh a material. So normally you do this on a flat plane, but I'm just going to use a cube for an example. Scatter biomes. Let's go into scatter material. And I'm just going to select this first material. There we go. So this is what we're looking at. So let me just scroll in. So what's that already? That's three clicks. Let's go back to the scatter biomes. Four clicks. From here, we can select any type of grass that we want. We do have snow snuff as well. We'll check that out in a sec. Let's just start off with maybe AOA 8. Let's just click it. That looks fantastic just off the bat. I'm going to press F12. That looks okay. But this is Eevee. If you want the full quality, you go to Cycles. So let's now change the render engine over from Eevee over to Cycles. Let's change that to GPU. And let's just press F12. Absolutely stunning render. How about we change the grass and we check something else out? So let's close that window. What I'm going to do is just select our three grasses and delete them. Let's come back into biomes and we'll select something else. Maybe the one with a little bit of leaves, say AOE 3 and let's exit that manager. We can see now that we've got a few leaves and grass. Let's press F12 again. There we go. Utterly amazing. Now as well, what I'm just going to do is I've seen you how quick we can make some awesome grass. I'm just going to make a plane and just increase the size just so we can see a little bit more details. So we're going to go into solid mode just so I can show you one of the cool main features. Now there is a link in the description on to download this, obviously, as well as a physical atmosphere add-on. There's some documentation in the tutorial on how to actually use the scatter add-on and all the cool features. But I just kind of wanted to show you the main core grunt of yumness that this does. So with this as well, we can select our arrays and we can put in the different type of clusters we want, what type of patterns we want, how spaced out we want the grass and so on and so forth. So at the moment it was a very much an array. So let's go maybe a simple S, nice and little small. Let's select our biome. Um, we can even do a soccer pitch here. Unbelievable. Let's maybe go the flowers, so AO11. And then what we can come down here is we've got all our particles. So I can select these here. And we can just add to it. So let's click scatter. And now you can see that we've actually inserted some extra grass and it's just small clumps kind of representing what we've done here. So for instance, if I want to go really thick, like simple children, and we want these really thick, big pieces of grass clumps coming through, we can click scatter on that one and we'll just see it just come smashing through there really heavily. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press F12 to render just so we ha can have a look at it. And that is just a gorgeous looking image. Now, one last thing, let's just kind of quickly do a snow one. I do like the snow. So I'm just going to delete everything that we've already got, select our mesh, go over to biomes. Let's come down into our snow and do a wonderful winter escape. Let's just press that. That's what we got. I'm just going to press F12. And once again, absolutely stunning. Now this is the scatter add-on. Oh, if you're doing these kinds of field scenes, oh my goodness, you'd be silly not to pick this up. If there are any other add-ons you want me to check out, please make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. And until next time.